The Internet of Things is changing our world. This vast, rapidly growing network of devices enables us to sense our world far beyond the walls of businesses. Interconnecting things, coming together at scale in real time, build a high-resolution awareness of what's happening all around us and alert us to what should be happening but isn't. Applying smart analytics to this flood of big data creates fresh insights that can help enable new ways of working, sharing information, and interacting with the world. It can help businesses identify opportunities, proactively anticipate threats, and optimize how our world works. It's also extremely cool. Jane lives in Chicago and is getting ready to travel to a business meeting in Dallas. From her home, she uses her phone to check the temperature inside of her car, a freezing 25 degrees Fahrenheit. She uses her phone to automatically turn the car on and adjust the heat based on the temperature outside. She continues to get ready for her business meeting while also listening to some music. Moments later, a notification on her phone lets Jane know that her car is ready and has reached her preferred temperature. She turns off her music in the house and upon walking outside, uses her phone to unlock the car. Upon entry, her car stereo automatically picks up from the point in the song where it was left off. Her phone uploads the route to the airport onto her car's GPS based on her electronic plane ticket. En route, Jane's car alerts her that there's been an accident on the highway and she needs to take a different route. Her GPS reroutes her on some less traveled back roads to ensure she'll reach her destination in time. While traveling on these back roads, an alert is sent to the cloud, which notifies her and other cars around of the potential of black ice. Simultaneously, this alert is sent to government authorities to alert them to deploy salt trucks to help get rid of the ice. Due to the risk of driving fast with ice, Jane's car implements a speed limit to ensure she is safe. All of this happens simultaneously, in near real time. Automotive and telecommunication companies are able to decrease the risk to drivers on the road and help insurance companies and government with valuable data insights. Jane finally arrives at the airport parking lot and with sensors located in the parking bays, her car notifies her where to locate an empty space. Her car pushes a notification to her phone to keep record of where the car is located in the parking lot so she'll be able to find it easily later on. The airline recognizes that Jane has reached the airport and the flight is delayed due to weather. They send her a shopping coupon to ensure her delay doesn't ruin her day. The airport recognizes Jane as a VIP of her preferred airline, and as she approaches the kiosk, she sees a personalized welcome greeting, confirmation of her boarding gate, direction to the lounge and bag drop, as her bags are already checked in. The baggage claim ticket is automatically uploaded to her phone. Jane's phone then prompts her if she would like to send a message to all contacts she's meeting with later in the day to notify them about her delay. She clicks yes and no longer has to worry about her coworkers wondering about her whereabouts. With near real-time updates, airline companies and retailers are able to keep their customers up to speed with the latest information, promotions, and an improved travel experience. With the coupon Jane received from the airline, Jane decides to walk through the airport and shop. While shopping, Jane sees a sweater that she loves. She scans the barcode on her phone and sees that it isn't available in Chicago in her size, but will be available at her destination airport. She uses her coupon and pays for the sweater online. An electronic receipt is mailed to her immediately with a copy to the Dallas store. The airline is notified that Jane has used the coupon and they send her a message saying they're glad she found something she liked. At the same time, the store in Dallas receives an online transaction notification and keeps the sweater aside for Jane. Their inventory is updated automatically. Jane receives an alert on her phone of the name of the salesperson who will attend to her when she reaches the Dallas airport. Jane lands in Dallas and locates the right salesperson. She takes her sweater and heads off to her business meeting. Upon arriving, her clients tell her not to worry about being delayed because they received a message from her earlier notifying them she would be late. Retail and distribution companies can ensure customers have access to the products they want when they want them. They're also able to increase sales, maintain balanced inventories, and obtain better returns. When we share insights from data flowing through the Internet of Things, we can transform how we live, work, and play. 
Let's make the Internet of Things work. Let's build a smarter planet.